Hi there. Now, for this question, we've got to integrate 4 minus 3x to the power 7 with respect to x. And to do this, what I like to do is just see something like this as the reverse of the chain rule. Do it by kind of recognition. The other way is just to learn the formula, but I don't really encourage that method. I'll show you at the end anyway, that particular method. But uh, as I say, when I'm doing something like this, if it's got this linear form inside the bracket to a power, then what I'll do is see it as say y equals 4 minus 3x and then raise the power. Raise the power up by 1. So in this example, it would be to the power 8. Now, when I differentiate this, I'm going to end up with something like this, only it's going to have a constant in front of it. I'll show you. If we differentiate this, you're going to need to be familiar with the chain rule. dy dx would be equal to, and what we do is we essentially see this as t to the power 8, say. So I differentiate t to the power 8, which would be 8 t to the power 7. t, though, is the 4 minus 3x. So it's 8 times 4 minus 3x to the power 7. And then you need to multiply this by the differential of what you call t. t, remember, is the 4 minus 3x. So differentiating that, you get minus 3. That's the chain rule. And what I see that I get is minus 24, minus 24, multiplied by 4 minus 3x, all to the power 7. And so, can you see that this looks exactly the same as this, except for the constant minus 24? And that tells me that if I was to multiply this by minus 1 24th, then that constant would be here, minus 1 24th, and it would be here, minus 1 24th. And so when I do minus 1 24th multiplied with the minus 24 there, I'm just going to get 1, 1 lot of 4 minus 3x to the power 7. So the answer to this is going to be that it equals minus 1 24th, of 4 minus 3x to the power 8, plus a constant of integration. So that's essentially how I would go about that, how I'd see that as the reverse of the chain rule. The other way, though, as I say, is that you just learn the formula for handling something like this. I don't think it encourages any understanding, though. That's why I don't really like it. But essentially, if you've got a linear factor here of the form say ax plus b to a power n it can be shown just by doing this particular kind of method that you get that linear factor to the power n plus 1 all divided by n plus 1 times a okay so when you look at this example here a is minus 3 and n is 7 so can you see that you're going to get the linear factor, which is 4 minus 3x, to the power 7 plus 1, which is 8. And then it's divided by a, which was minus 3, times the new power 8. Minus 3 times 8 gives us minus 24 that you're dividing it by. So you end up with minus 1 24th at the front. OK, so I hope it's given you some idea anyway on how to approach that particular question.